saying life does not imitate art in an elementary school up in the Bronx, where a principal is now stirring up all sorts of controversy. She is supposed to be a role model, but it's her role in a movie, a violent gangster movie, that is causing big <laughs> problems. It's a B movie, but her story <laughs> has a D grade overall. Here's Iowa News reporter Sandra Book. It's the last place most people would expect to find the principal of their child's school, starring in a violent movie about gangs. But Anissa Chalmers, principal of PS 132 in the Bronx, has a lead role in the independent film, and that has raised more than a few eyebrows. It's derogatory to the kids because it's not teaching them a lesson. A principal or a staff member has the right to pursue other activities, to engage in whether it's plays or poetry reading and things along that line. But you also have to be very conscious of your role, uh, especially as a leader of a school. The film is called Gang Girl, and it was shot in the Bronx. Its director is defending its message, calling it redemptive and inspirational, and standing by his star. The kids are, are her heart, but acting is really her passion, and she's shared that with me for years. PS 132 has a history of academic and disciplinary problems, and that's another reason some are questioning whether or not the school has the principal's full attention. In one incident last June, a nine-year-old needed six stitches after being slashed on the neck by an eight-year-old classmate. And the Department of Ed's most recent progress report gives the school an overall grade of D with F for both student performance and environment. And so far, Principal Chalmers hasn't spoken about the controversy publicly, but Director Damian Bailey says they've talked about it. Who's that to you? Mm -hmm. And I'm at peace with it. Okay. You know, it's, right now it's in God's hands. That's how we look at it. In the more famous section of the Bronx, Sandra Bookman, Channel 7, 